The Novogratic Journal of Tax Credits is pleased to present the 2014 Community Development Awards. The awards recognize community development entities, or CDEs, that have made exceptional qualified low-income community investments, or QUALICIs, in the past year. The Quality of the Year Awards honor CDEs that exhibit a well-executed vision and measurable community impact. Funding for the investments being honored closed in 2013 or 2014. The Novogratic Journal of Tax Credits is a monthly magazine that provides readers with the latest news, analysis, and commentary on new markets tax credits. It also covers the Low Income Housing Tax Credit, Historic Tax Credit, and Renewable Energy Tax Credits. The judges for the Novogratic Journal of Tax Credits Community Development Awards are experts in the new markets tax credit field. Novogratic and company thanks them for their time and effort in considering the numerous nominations that were received. There's no doubt that the outstanding work of all the development teams left the judges with some difficult choices to make. This year's awards recognize CDEs in these five categories. Small Business Quality of the Year, Operating Business Quality of the Year, Real Estate Quality of the Year, Metro Quality of the Year, and Non-Metro Quality of the Year. Before we announce this year's winners, let's catch up with some of our past winning developments, starting with the Mercy Corps World Headquarters. National Community Development Fund 1 LLC won the 2008 Metro Quality of the Year Award for its investment in Mercy Corps World Headquarters in Portland, Oregon. Since becoming fully operational in 2008, Colin Rowan said Mercy Corps has spurred economic development. Rowan is a principal at United Fund Advisors, which formed the National Community Development Fund. The development created 200 in-house, full-time positions and 130 indirect jobs through its lending program. Mercy Corps has also helped local businesses by providing work for 30 vendors and rental space for two nonprofits. Weekend programs have been offered for more than 2,000 community members. Rowan also reports that the Mercy Corps Action Center, which promotes global literacy, has provided 174 classes for more than 5,400 students. Turning to our 2009 winners, let's start with an update for the winning development of the Operating Business Quality of the Year Award. The National Development Council won the 2009 Operating Business Quality of the Year Award for its investment in Yonkers Pier in Yonkers, New York. The National Development Council reports that, since its revitalization, Yonkers Pier has had significant positive effects on the surrounding neighborhoods. For example, one of the commercial tenants, Restaurant X2O, has created more than 50 full-time jobs for local residents. Peter Kelly, the owner of X2O, said he has hired and trained more than 300 students and interns from local schools. National Development Council says that the new restaurants and boutiques have also contributed to the waterfront's revitalization by increasing foot traffic and tourist activity in the area. Now, an update from our 2009 Real Estate Quality of the Year development. Consortium America, Enterprise Community Investment, Local Initiative Support Corporation, National New Markets Fund, LLC, NCB Capital Impact, and U.S. Bancorp Community Development Corporation, or USBCDC, won the 2009 Real Estate Quality of the Year Award for their investment in the Argonaut Project in Detroit, Michigan. The development is now called the A. Alfred Tobman Center for Design Education. The 630,000 square foot property serves as a second campus for the College for Creative Studies, or CCS. USB CDC reports more than 1,300 students are enrolled each year. Since opening in 2009, the development has created more than 1,000 temporary jobs, 391 permanent jobs, and 167 part-time jobs. Enterprise reports CCS has supported the expansion of local businesses, including subleasing the fifth floor of its building to Shinola a manufacturer of leather goods and bicycles. A portion of the development was also subleased to the Henry Ford Academy School for Creative Studies. 
The school provides art and design courses for nearly 900 middle and high school students. Thank you to all the past winners for updating us on the progress and positive growth that they have made in their communities. And now, we are proud to present the 2014 Community Development Award winners. Our first category is the Small Business Quality of the Year. To qualify for this category, a quality must have been made to a development occupied exclusively by a primary tenant with 50 or fewer employees. Honorable mention for the Small Business Quality of the Year Award goes to National New Markets Fund and Chase New Markets Corporation for their investment in Michigan Renewable Carbon, or MRC. MRC is a facility that produces carbonized biomass products as an alternative to coal-based products in Gwynn, Michigan. MRC received $5.8 million in equity from New Markets tax credits. Deborah LaFranchi, president of the National New Markets Fund, said MRC's products will cost less, perform better, and have less of an impact on the environment than non-renewable products. MRC is expected to significantly boost Gwynn's local economy. It is expected to directly create 45 permanent jobs at the facility and stimulate supporting industries. MRC is also partnering with Michigan State University to promote the development of renewable biomass feedstock. Supporters say the development of renewable biomass feedstock could create more jobs and increase income in rural communities. The winner of the Small Business Quality of the Year Award is Community First Fund for providing New Markets tax credit financing to help build Tech Centro in Lancaster City, Pennsylvania. Tech Centro is a training center with a mission to provide low-income bilingual residents with language development training, adult basic education, bilingual skills training, and job readiness and job placement services. In 2013, SACA Development Corporation decided to expand Tech Centro's vocational training program by developing the vacant building adjacent to its headquarters. SACA secured nearly $3 million of the total project financing and filled the financing gap with equity raised by the New Markets tax credits from Community First Fund. Daniel Betancourt, president of the Community First Fund, said that SACA expects the renovated 16,600-square-foot facility will provide services to at least 1,500 people annually, and that Tech Centro services will help bring more than 1,000 of the area's bilingual residents into the regional workforce annually. Tech Centro offers bilingual skills training and supportive services for careers in healthcare, business and hospitality, food service, construction, manufacturing, and office administration. Betancourt added that each year, approximately 85% of the participants in the SACA program obtain full-time employment. Congratulations to Community First Fund. Congratulations to the winners of the 2014 Novogratic Journal of Tax Credits Community Development Awards. Novogratic and Company would once more like to thank the judges for their time and expertise. We would also like to thank all of the individuals and CDEs whose innovative work with the New Markets Tax Credit will provide meaningful benefits to communities across the United States. Thank you for joining us.